Hello everyone, I am Jaquez and welcome to our Calendly Solutions for Sales video. In this video, we'll explore how you can leverage Calendly to enhance your sales processes and streamline your workflow. We'll dive into the key features that will help you optimize your sales efficiency, starting with integrating Calendly with your CRM to keep all your customer interactions synchronized and up to date. Then we'll automate your scheduling processes with meeting workflows, ensuring a seamless experience for both you and your clients. Next, we'll explore lead routing using routing forms to ensure that every lead is directed to the right team member based on specific criteria. We'll also cover fast sharing of your Calendly links to make scheduling even easier. We'll dive into meeting management techniques to help you organize, track, and manage your meetings efficiently. And finally, we'll wrap up by exploring Calendly's reporting and analytics tools to gain insights into your scheduling activities and improve your processes. I know you have sales to close, so I don't want to keep you waiting any longer. So let's get started. Now let's take a look at the different CRMs that you can connect to your Calendly account and what are the requirements in order to do so. So to access those features, you're going to select integrations and apps on the left hand side. From there, we want to locate sales and CRM options. Once we select that, we see that Calendly offers the ability for you to connect your Salesforce account, HubSpot account, um, of course, LinkedIn messaging and Gump, but we're going to focus on Salesforce and HubSpot. And what I want to do is just give you just the full rundown of what is required in order for these integrations to connect to your Calendly account. So let's start with Salesforce. Now let's just discuss some of the features that come in play when you integrate Calendly with your Salesforce account so first up you have the ability to create and update Salesforce records whenever a lead submits to your Calendly form which is your routing form right that you can create within um, the Calendly software you also have the ability to automatically create and update Salesforce records such as when they book cancel reschedule meetings so you have that full list of that entire customer interaction within your Salesforce account you also have the ability to sync Calendly links to share the team members their availability from within in Salesforce and then of course you can customize the integration to fit your team process your day-to-day -day. and one thing that you also want to keep in mind that makes this integration extremely valuable that you're able to route website form leads to the right team member via the Salesforce lookup tool now there are some requirements in order for you to connect Salesforce to your Calendly account and the first one is this you must have a Salesforce Enterprise Edition or higher in order to connect it to your Calendly account you must have Salesforce admin privileges. That's another big deal. Um, you must also be on Calendly's team subscription for the CRM connection. And in order for you to use the Salesforce lookup to routing forms feature, you must be on Calendly's enterprise subscription to access that. Once you're ready, you'll simply select the connect Salesforce button below. And from that point, you'll follow the steps to begin the integration. Now let's move on to HubSpot. And let's take a look at some of the requirements and we will go ahead and integrate our HubSpot account within our Calendly account. Now, here's some ways for you to use Calendly and HubSpot. So once you connect the integration, what will happen is you're able to automatically create HubSpot contacts and add meeting activity to existing ones, okay? Not only that, you're able to add instant qualified scheduling to your existing HubSpot marketing forms. You're able to look up, match, and schedule HubSpot contacts with their owners directly from the routing form. Now, these are a lot of great features that you're able to access once you have the integration together. But in order for you to use this integration, you must have a HubSpot account. It can be free or paid. You must have HubSpot admin privileges and you must be on a Calendly subscription, whether that's standard or Teams. So let's go ahead and move forward with integrating our HubSpot CRM. I'm going to select connect HubSpot to begin the process. We're going to then sign into our HubSpot account. And now we have integrated Calendly with HubSpot. Now, once they have integrated, you see now you have an option to push Calendly events and contacts to HubSpot to create and update records. You're presented with a toggle switch to turn it on or turn it off. In this case, we want to make sure we have a very robust flow, right? As our customer and clients are booking meetings with us. So we want our records to be created or updated as bookings occur. 
Now we have our CRM connected to our Calendly account and we're able to move on to the next step. Now let's take a look at Calendly's workflows and determine the strategic ways we can use workflows to achieve our sales goals. What we're going to do is select workflows on the left hand side and we have one already created here but I want to take us through the journey of how to create a workflow and the benefits that the workflow offers in order for you to achieve your goals. So we're going to select new workflow on the right hand side and from there you're presented with options to create different types of workflows now one thing i want to point out is that before you create a workflow try to determine the journey that you want to take your customer through so for example you want to think about as soon as they book a meeting with you what type of experience you want your customer to have do you want your customer to receive an email right afterwards with additional resources to prep for the meeting do you want to also send out a reminder email a couple hours before or a day before the meeting take place or do you want to have a text reminder sent to the invitee or a booking confirmation sent to the invitee what experience do you want your customers to have when they're interacting with you before the meeting during the meeting and after the meeting so not only can you look at this from the holistic view of as soon as my customer book a meeting I want this to trigger right afterwards but think about after the meeting do you want an email that will be sent to them that will thank them for the time spent in the meeting or you know sending a feedback survey what do you want your customer to see what do you want them to feel what do you want them to experience that's the one thing you want to keep in mind especially if the goal is to close a deal how can you make that journey for the customer from starting Start to finish flow in a way where the deal is done and the relationship is built what I'm gonna do is take you through creating your own workflow from scratch so you can just kind of see the benefits that we have accessible for you in order for you to create a robust experience for your customers and clients so once you select the create your own workflow button you have an option presented to you that says when this happens blank so what do we want to do either we want to create a new event is booked workflow created before the event starts we want this workflow to hit when the event starts we want this workflow to hit when the event ends or if the event is canceled so let's just do this because I just want to show you all of the features inside of building a workflow so we're going to select new event is booked so what we want is after an event is booked that the customer immediately receives this okay so what do we want it to be we can make it an email to the invitee we can send a text to them but we're going to select send an email to the invitee we're going to select next now from here we can create a custom name for this workflow whether it can be let's just call it sales introduction from there we can strategically select the event types that we want this workflow to be connected to so what I'm going to choose is one of my team events which is sales committee and sales team Robin and select apply now we already have this set that when this happens we want this to occur right now let's go in and actually take a look at what we can put inside of the email that the invitee will receive once they book a meeting with us so we're going to select the edit button and from there we're going to start from the top here you can choose which email address you want the notifications to be sent from it can be notifications at calendly.com or no reply at calendly.com you have a company gmail or outlook account you can connect that email to your calendly account and then you'll see that option presented here as an email address that can appear on the email that the invitee receives so keep that in mind that that is also another option that you can choose up next we have choose a template we have custom uh, additional resources feedback survey reconfirmation reminder request follow-up and thank you but we present some options to you so that you have a plethora to choose from in order for you to customize a email that you want your customers to receive that achieves the goal in mind so I'm gonna choose additional resources because the whole idea is that they book the meeting with me and I want to send some more information over to them so that way I can get things in motion before the meeting begins okay now the next section that we can customize is the subject line you can be very strategic with this subject line one thing I want to point out is that you have the ability to add in variables that customize the email for your invitee 
okay so if you want their name to appear in the email you simply want to choose invitee first name invitee last name this calendly will pull that variable from their booking form and add it into the subject line or wherever you place the specific variable within your email okay same goes for the body you have the ability to add in variables to customize the email but the other thing that I want to point out is that you have the ability to add in links so you can add a link to a specific PDF you want your customer or client to view uh, a link to a video a link to a website you have the ability to really customize the experience for your invitee in order for them to get prepared for the meeting at hand okay and then another feature that you can add into this workflow is the ability for the customer to reconfirm uh, the ability for them to cancel or reschedule and you have the ability to add in a customized cancellation policy now keep in mind that if you add in the cancel and reschedule links that this does give the client or the customer the ability to cancel and reschedule without your assistance now this may be valuable for those scenarios where you have a catch-all form and you want your, your customers and clients to make that option but if you're working on closing something out and you want to make sure the loop is tight I would definitely say uncheck the include cancel and reschedule links so that way if the customer or client wants to reschedule or cancel they reach out to you directly all right so now we're going to select done select save and now we have our workflow created keep in mind you can create as many workflows as you need in order to achieve your goal just consider the customer experience as you're building out the workflow to make sure that the workflow helps you to achieve your goal now let's take a look at routing forms and see what we can do with that feature to help us achieve our sales goal we're going to select routing on the left hand side and once you select the button you're presented with the routing home page now what I want to do is go through a form I created and speak through the different possibilities that you have in order for you to take advantage of this routing form feature so we're going to open up the sales analysis form and one of the things that's very important before you even create your routing form is that you want to identify the goal you want to understand what information you need from your customer or client to understand their specific needs their requests their desires etc you really want to take the time to hone in on the specific questions that you will need answers for in order for you to serve your customer and client more effectively so as you can see I have the first and last name field their email phone number and service offered a very basic layout but when it comes to the routing form what makes it extremely powerful is that you want to have specific questions that help qualify your customer for a specific sales rep on your team specific event type or for a specific service that you can offer that customer okay now before we go in depth into the logic of the routing form you have the ability to create a headline for your routing form and to add a description that details either next steps or what this form is so the customer has better context now I want us to take a look at the logic feature within the routing form we're going to select logic and from here you can build routes based off of a specific question on your routing form that leads your customer or client to a specific booking page website or etc okay you have the ability to control the traffic that comes in from your routing form so one thing that you see here is that I have a route set in place where if a customer selected coaching they'll then be routed to Calendly.com for more information however if the customer selects our speaking services they'll be routed to one of our shared event types called sales committee now what I want to do is take us through the process of creating another route now what we have here is the ability for you to use the form answers to create the route or you can use your Salesforce connection or your HubSpot lookup if you have those connected okay for the sake of this demo we're gonna choose use form answers I just want to show you just the layout of the ability that you have in order for you to create a robust flow for your customer client so if the customer we're gonna choose the service offered question and if they select we're gonna choose the is statement if they choose is branding we want the customer to then be routed to one of our event types called sales team Robin okay so if the customer selects branding on our routing form after they select the next button 
at the bottom on that routing form, they're going to be taken to our sales team Robin event type to book a session with one of the members on our sales team. So we put that in place and we're going to select save. And now we have that new route in place within our routing form. Once you have your routing form created, you're able to preview it so that you can confirm that everything is set up the right way. You can even play around with the responses, right? Just so you can confirm that everything is set in place the way that you want it to flow. So you can actually see the logic in real time. And as you can see, when we select next, we see that that customer will be routed to our round robin event type. So that's one thing to keep in mind that you're able to test out the flow of your routing form before you even share it with the customer. Or if we go back and select share form, you have the ability to add this, embed this to your website. Another powerful way, right? In order for you to build that system for your customers and clients that are interested in your services, your products, or et cetera. So you're able to embed your form as a inline embed, pop-up widget, pop-up text, but you have the ability to customize the experience that you want to deliver to your customer and clients. Now there are various ways for you to share your scheduling link with your customer or client, but we're gonna speak on the most powerful methods to get that done, especially when you're attempting to close a deal very quickly. Now one very swift way is heading into your Calendly account and then selecting that share button. Once you select the button, you have the ability to share the link presented here for that event type with your customer or client from the specific space. You can then either add times to email by selecting specific dates and then times accessible and then select continue in order for you to copy the times to your clipboard and then have that pasted into your email or you can have it added to your website for a customer or client to book a session with you. Now, this is done within an app on the website accessing Calendly. But an even more powerful method to streamline this process is by downloading Calendly's browser extension tool. Now from this location, you can be on any tab within your Google Chrome browser. And if you're at a method or in a conversation via email, etc., you're able to head to the Calendly browser extension and then select whatever meeting type that you want to invite the customer a client to. And then from that point, you're able to either copy the link, you're able to either view the live page, share your availability, or book the meeting on behalf of the customer, which is a new feature that Calendly offers. To learn more about Calendly's browser extension, head to our help center at help.calendly.com and in the search bar, type in Calendly's browser extension to view the video that we have created that guides you on the extension on how to set it up and how to use it, or preview the article to read the information in detail. Another strategy for you to share links quickly, you can download our mobile app on Apple or Android where you're able to use your mobile device and share links on the go, whether it's text or email from your mobile phone. Well, let's walk through how to access and use the scheduled events feature. You wanna to go to the left-hand side panel and select scheduled events to access the scheduled events page. Now, when it comes to filtering your event data, this is done by selecting the filter button on the right hand side, and then you're presented with options that you can filter your data out for your spreadsheet. So the first option is teams. You can select a specific team that you want to see in terms of data, host a specific host, uh, event types. You can choose one specific event type or a couple or the entire group uh, status. You can choose active events or even canceled events to preview in your data. Uh, tracking IDs, you're able to see any UTMs that you have created on your event types and how they performed. And then you have the invitee emails where you're able to filter based off of your invitee email account. Now let's go through the process of how to export event details. Now, once you've filtered everything to your liking, you can now select the export button. And what will happen is that a spreadsheet or a zip file will download to your device. And when you open that specific file, you'll begin to see all the data that you requested. So you'll see usernames, the team, invite the information, event type name, start and end dates, locations, cancellation reasons, UTMs, etc. The spreadsheet will give you the full whole holistic view of your scheduled events. Now let's take a look at an upcoming event to see the information and features that we have accessible to us 
within it. So up front, you see the name of your customer or client that you're going to meet with, with the event type name, and of course, the time of the specific meeting. You also have a list of the host that's going to be a part of that meeting. And of course, any non host, if this was a particular meeting that was collaborative with other members. As we work our way down, we see the invitee email address, which we also have the ability to edit here if we would like. And once you edit, just keep in mind that a notification will be sent to the updated email address for that invitee to be aware. OK, so you have that ability here as well. You can also see the location of the meeting. So if it's a web conference based software that you're using for the location, such as Zoom, GoToMeeting, Google Meets, you can select the link from within the scheduled event and you can actually be led to the meeting from inside of Calendly. You also can see the invitee time zone to make sure that's aligned, the meeting host that will be attending the meeting, and you have the power and the ability to input meeting notes to either prep yourself for this meeting, or let's just say after the meeting, you've gotten some information about their needs, you want to put some information there, you can come in here and type in updates from your meeting that you want to provide for yourself to cover specific needs that your customer and client discussed in that specific setting. Once you've inputted your meeting notes, simply select update and it will be saved within that specific scheduled event. Now, the other powerful features that we have accessible here is that you have the ability to reschedule the event or cancel it with these two buttons. You also have the ability to edit the entire event type to a specific liking if you need to filter data based off of the event type or based off specific event types. And then you also have a very powerful feature where you're able to schedule the invitee again for a future meeting. Now, let's say you're dealing with bad actors, right? And you're getting uh, bookings that look like spam. You're able to report those specific events right here for our system to take a deeper look into it so that we can prevent those from happening. The scheduled events feature offers several benefits. Efficiency streamlines your management of scheduled events, saving you time. Organization, it keeps your events organized and easily accessible. Flexibility, it allows you to quickly adjust to changes by rescheduling or canceling events. And then, of course, Insight provides you with valuable data for analyzing the performance of your events. The analytics that Calendly collects from your meetings over time will be very powerful data for you to use to really understand your customers and their habits more effectively. Now let's head over to the analytics tab and take a deeper look. We're going to select analytics on the left hand side. And from there, you're presented with specific data sets that you can evaluate. So you're presented with the number of created events that you have, completed events, rescheduled events, canceled events. But these four data sets that are presented to you are extremely powerful when you're trying to gaze to see how active your interactions have been with your customers or if you're looking at your team, how active your team has been, but you have the ability to just see the overall picture from all of the scheduled events that occurred on your account. You are also presented with a completed events trend graph that you're able to evaluate the event volume, the event distribution by duration, so you can determine the volume in a different layout as well. You're also able to preview popular event types that are being booked consistently within your account. And another strategic data set is the ability to preview popular times that customer clients are booking meetings with you. Now we can even get granular to where you can also see user data based off of users with the most events on your team, users with the least events on your team. So you're able to gauge just the overall interaction that is taking place within your Calendly team account. Now you can also preview this data in different date ranges. So it can go from the last 90 days, seven days, 30 days, 60 days, 365. You can customize your data to go back and display a range as far as you would like to go. Up next, you're able to filter your data based off of the people on your account, the event types, or the groups or teams. You're able to get very granular with the type of data that you see within your analytics view. Then you also have the ability to customize the dashboard to see only those dashboards that matter the most for your team in order for you to achieve your goal. So you can turn all specific data sets in your dashboard if you're not using those to determine a level of success, or you can turn on those that are not turned on. 
And finally, you have the ability to export the event data, the employee data, so you can see all of this information on the spreadsheet. And that way you can take that spreadsheet and use it for any projects or etc. where that data is necessary. Congratulations, you've now learned how to integrate Calendly with your CRM, automate workflows, route leads effectively, share scheduling links quickly, manage your meetings, and leveraging reporting and analytics to improve your sales processes. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy using Calendly to boost your sales efficiency. Happy scheduling. If you have any questions about Calendly features, drop them in the comments below, or you can check out our help center, which is also linked in the description below. While you're here, hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with those who would find it useful. Stay tuned for our next video, where we'll dive deeper into Calendly features. Until then, happy scheduling.